Welcome back to the channel. As always, AI is top of mind these days. WordPress.com just sent me an email, said they have a new builder. It uses AI. I can build a website by just typing in some words. So let's do that. This is a literal first look. I don't know what is going to happen when I put in my prompt and hit go. I might even have to edit some stuff because I might even actually have me sign into my account. So build a website in seconds with AI, WordPress.com early access. Build me a website for my plumbing business where customers can find my pricing and send me a request to fix their plumbing. Sounds about right to me. Let's go ahead and hit go. Laying the foundations, turning on the lights, and away we go with AI. It's doing some stuff. It's loading some things. It's thinking. It looks like your typical sort of chat prompt if you're using ChatGPT or something of the like. It says, uh, what should the title of your website be? For example, it could be your business name. So we'll say, Matt gets it unstuck. You know what? Unstuck plumbing with Matt. So this is kind of cool. We're having a, uh, a typical chat. What's, uh, what is the physical location of your plumbing business? For example, an address or city you serve will say to somewhere street, Boston, Mass. This is riveting content. We're doing this together. Confirm your site details. Unstuck Plumbing with Matt, a plumbing business where customers can find pricing and submit service requests with a location. So I'm looking at this. It, these look like block icons. So uh, do you uh, do the above details look correct? We're going to say yes. Create my site. Building your site. Here's what you could try next. Refresh the design with bolder colors and fonts. Uh, it's exciting stuff. It's using a temporary site. A lot of this looks like up in the URL. Um, of course, it's WordPress.com, but this is something that you would normally see with something like Playground dot wordpress.net which is um, something that I proclaim to be the future of WordPress perhaps the underlying technology here is at the playground we can see this thing coming together again this is the first time I've seen this this animation stuff looks pretty cool uh, I am entertained by that I'm watching it build it all together uh, I see this little prompt icon which kind of looks like Gemini uh, off to the left uh, I am in the WordPress editor. I don't have any other controls. I'm not clicking anything yet. I'm going to click launch in a minute. But first, let me look at this prompt here. Welcome. Pick your layout, color palette, and font pairing. Three quick steps. Edit details after in the editor. Uh, it says continue, so let's do that right now. First, pick from the layouts, organization, your content. So what happens when I click this? This is cool. I like the fact that we've got some very accurate uh, default images. Is this AI generated? This image? I'm looking uh, closely. It kind of does look like that. So it doesn't even look like it's taking it from like Unsplash. I can keep creating layouts, which is really cool. Uh, I like, not that one. I think this is the one for me. Plumbing prices and plans basic, 75, standard 150. The quality is outstanding. We got a quote here. So let's just take a look at this from the top down. Uh, it was building it for us, which looks uh, fun and exciting. We got the hero section, uh, another about hero section, some services section, rough pricing, some social proof through the way of a quote, uh, a visit us with a location and then design by WordPress. Let's go ahead and hit continue. You know what? It's driving me nuts that that one's on the left. So let's go ahead and pick this one instead. Uh, so we'll continue with this layout. Oh, now we have a set of colors that we can choose from. That's way too bold. I like... I think I'm going to go with this one. Ask AI for new color palettes. Uh, okay, so let's say... My existing business card... I could type is blue and red. Let's see what it does with that. If I were a business owner out there and maybe I don't have the website, but I've got some printed material and it's blue and red, let's see what it does with that. So we have 
looks like more of an orange to me. This one is way too aggressive. Uh, I'm going to stick with this one because I don't like any of those options. Pick your font pair. Click through the, some of this stuff here. This one looks like the better of the six. We'll hit continue. So a lot of this is um, what we're doing in the site editor, right? The font book, or not the font book, the style book, the style guide, whatever it's called. How can I help you? Welcome to the editor. Click around to edit the layout, images, or copy. You can also give me commands. Your free trial comes with 30 requests to our AI assistant. How do I change the header design? How do I customize the colors? I don't want to waste my 30 just yet. Let's just click around and see what we have. Plumbing pricing plans. This is all standard editor stuff, right? Because I'm in the WordPress editor. What happens when we view this page? What's it going to do? It's going to show it to me. Uh, where did that come from? Were these reviews in the editor? They are. This is nice. Uh, pretty cool. So what happens when I say, can you write me my about page? Is that too far ahead? It's using the paragraph block icon there. I'm wondering if that's because it's thinking about the block and then showing it. To, if maybe if I was asking for a, uh, like a bullet list, it might show that in, diff uh, in a different icon. All customizations and pages on your site will be permanently reset. Are you sure you want to start over? Yes, permanently reset my site. No, I have changed my mind. I'm going to go with no, I've changed my mind. I don't want to launch. Let's keep editing this. Uh, if I highlight this, AI assistant change tone, formal, serious, humorous. Let's go humorous. Let's see what that does. Plumbing services where we make your leaks, our laughs. That's very interesting. Uh, let's click on this and see what we can do with AI. Generate all text, generate caption. Uh, a lot of this stuff, oh, this is pulling from Pexels. Kind of looks like an AI photo. I guess not. I can see the camera back there. Okay. So the layout was generated fairly easily. I'd launch my site. It looks like it's only going to launch it into uh, a hosted account, paid account. Uh, let's go back to find an image, generate an image using AI. Let's generate an image with AI. Make a new AI image to replace the one I have selected, which is right up here. It's thinking potentially, allegedly, it's going to do it. See what it comes up with. Uh, what I was saying before is a lot of this AI stuff has existed in WordPress.com, uh, probably through way of Jetpack, I'd imagine. Uh, I do have a WordPress.com for another website that I have, thepodcastsetup.com, which is uh, a newsletter that I do about the podcast industry. And I actually like some of the AI features that WordPress.com ships with. Uh, specifically their image generator, I think is fairly, fairly good. I've often used it for a featured image because uh, I have very little time to spend on that newsletter. Um, the featured images don't have overall that much of an impact about the content that I'm writing. Um, and even if it did, I, I don't only have so much time to dedicate to it. So it, it has sped up some stuff. And I have actually often used it to evaluate my writing uh, right inside the editor. Uh, again, I, had, I don't have any qualms with uh, WordPress.com's implementation of that stuff. So it may be a new image, uh, take it or leave it, but it looks fairly good uh, for a plumbing service. What else can we do here? Uh, I could always say rewrite this paragraph. So if I ask AI Assistant, I could say um, add more depth to this about section and just see what it does with that. It added a lot more, and this is one of the issues, like, you know, you'd probably want to format it differently, and, and you know, I think for the untrained WordPress professional or web designer, you, you might start just leaving walls of text everywhere, and that's never a good thing, um, which is always, I guess, one of the issues, and that, and of course, a bunch of random-looking uh, featured images. Add a page to my site. What kind of page would you like to add? Let's go with that contact page, but there already is one, so... I wonder if I, I can't click it, right? Because it's not going to let me I have this. Let me go right this unstuck plumbing and see if that brings up the contact page. There's the contact page. 
Unstuck Plumbing with Matt. Let's see what it does with the About page, too. Not bad. I mean, you'd still have to go in and there's a lot of like repetitive sections here. But it, it you know, it built the framework for somebody to like kind of go in and uh, modify things. Here's what I'd really like to see is I would like to see this AI tool bringing that person through each section, right? Understanding what AI built, why it built it, um, and then what they should do to go in and modify this. Because this is the thing, like when folks talk about AI, I, you know, as you all know, I've been learning how to code with AI, really learning outside of the WordPress stuff, like doing a lot of React things. And uh, one argument against AI is that people are just going to go and launch all this stuff and it's going to be all this, you know, junk that's out there on the internet and you're not really learning how to code. I've been trying to learn how to code <laughs> as I vibe code my way to some of the successful apps that I've built. I'm also learning. I'm, I'm reading. I'm trying to understand I'm going into the code editor. It's not just at the prompt level. And um, I think the same kind of argument can be had when somebody's launching a website with an AI tool like this. And the challenge with this, uh, as exciting as it was to see it build it, and I think the animations were cool. You saw it come to life. You kind of had a couple options to modify the look and feel. Now for the untrained WordPress professional, you don't even know why these sections were added, how these sections were added, and what, they're, what they actually mean to the visitor of the website. So what I would like AI to do is guide that person afterwards. Just like when I'm working in Replit or Bolt, I'm asking it questions to help me understand how they built the app. I think it got somebody fairly quickly to uh, a framed out site. Still a lot of work to do in terms of like if you're brand new to this, which is where I would say most people wanting to use AI are going to fall in like they're brand new. They don't know what they're doing. Let me use this AI assistant thing to get this done. Um, so it did an okay job at that. Uh, but then I think helping that person understand what it built from a technical perspective, but also from the visitor's perspective, because this is what you get when you are working with a freelancer or an agency building a website. You're not just getting that technical expertise, but you're getting the overall, hopefully you're getting the overall business and marketing expertise. Somebody who understands your business, your customer specifically, and how they're going to engage with your website. And um, that's the, the overall value. And yes, I did have to edit this part out. It takes me to um, my personal dashboard with all of my uh, .com accounts. And it won't let me get back into the traditional admin site, presumably because this is a lead into WordPress.com hosting. And um, I'm not going to start punching in a credit card here. And I assume it's just going to launch me into a ready-made WordPress site. Interesting to see what theme it uses at the base. I'm wondering if it's actually creating a new theme based on the AI prompts that I've given it, or if it's going to use like a base of 2025 or or some other starter theme that Automatic has created. So first look, first time touching it, let me know what you think. WordPress.com launching their AI builder. Your thoughts in the comments below. Thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want more. The WPMinute.com. Don't forget to subscribe to the newsletter, the WPMinute.com slash subscribe.